Before first use, make sure to remove all labels and stickers from the appliance. Properly wash and dry the drip coffee maker. The front of the drip coffee maker has four menu buttons. The carafe and you can open the lid. Here you will find the filter, and the filter holder. On the right hand side you will find the water level indicator and the time or timer lever. The lever can be pressed up or down or you push it in. When you first plug in the unit or after longer power outage you're able to set the time. Set the time by going with the lever up or down and first you're changing the hours confirm by pressing the lever in then you're able to change the minutes by going with the lever up or down and by confirming by pressing the lever in you can change the time by pressing the lever in for several seconds You let go and now you go up or down with the lever and confirm by pressing in just like before. In the settings menu you have three options. You can set the clock format, your water hardness, or to activate or deactivate the audible signals. To access the settings menu press the second and third button at the same time for several seconds. You now see SE01, that's the setting for the clock format. Press the lever up to see SE02, this is to select the water hardness. And press the lever up to go to SE03, there you can change the audible signals. To change the clock format, go to SE01. Select SE01 by pressing the lever in. Go up and down with the lever to select your preferred clock format. Confirm by pressing the button in. To exit the settings menu, press any button. To change the water hardness level, select SE02. Go with the lever up and confirm. You now see HA02, which is medium. So change the settings by going with the lever up or down. HA01 is for soft, 2 for medium, and 3 for hard. Confirm by pressing the lever in. Exit the settings menu by pressing any button. Turn the audible signals on and off. Select settings menu SE03. Go to SE03 and confirm by pressing the lever in. Right now the audible signals are turned off and change it with by pushing the lever up to on and confirm. The aroma setting allows you to choose the intensity of the aroma for your coffee from two levels, delicate aroma or intense aroma. The appliance is set by default to delicate aroma. In the LED you only see one coffee bean. Press the aroma button, which is the second button, once. You can now see two coffee beans, which means that now it is changed to intense aroma. To change it back, Press the coffee bean button once and you're going back to delicate aroma. The drip coffee maker has an auto start mode. Use this setting to program the appliance to switch on automatically to prepare the drip coffee at a time selected by you. To set the auto start time, 
proceed as follows. Make sure that the time is displayed correctly. You then hold down the fourth button for three seconds. You now change the time to the desired start time by pressing the lever up or down to select first the hour of the day, confirm by pressing the button in, and then select the minute by going up or down and then pressing the lever in. Once the settings are saved, the programmed auto start will be automatically saved and maintained until a new setting is selected to replace it. Once you've set the auto start time, the appliance will automatically turn this function on. You can verify this by checking that the fourth button is lit up. In order to turn the auto start function off, hit the button once. Now the fourth button is not lit up anymore. In order to turn it on again, press the fourth button. The auto start time is now on, shown on the display. Before making coffee, please make sure that you either have the four cups function setting turned off or on, depending on your desired setting. The four cups function setting allows you to dispense a small amount of coffee corresponding to about four cups. This setting is off by default. If you wish to only make about four cups of coffee, turn this function on. In order to turn on the four cups function setting, press the third button once. The button will then light up. Please keep in mind that the keep warm function cannot be used with the four cups setting and it is automatically deactivated. We will talk about the keep warm function later. In order to turn off the four cups function setting, press the third button once and the button will not light up anymore. How to make coffee. Fill up the craft with a desired amount of water. You then open the lid and pour the water into the drip coffee maker in the water tank in the back. Pour any remaining water that is in your carafe into your sink so it doesn't water down your coffee. Put the carafe into the drip coffee maker. Now you add the desired quantity of coffee according to the numbers of cups of coffee to be prepared. One level scoop of ground coffee is approximately equivalent to one cup. However, the amount of ground coffee to be used may vary according to your personal taste. Make sure that you have the filter holder with the anti-drip valve system here at the bottom with the spring and the filter itself in your coffee maker. After making sure that you have the filter holder and filter in the drip coffee maker, start putting ground coffee into the filter. You then close the lid and press the on and off button. The drip coffee maker will now start boiling the water. The coffee brewing operation can be stopped at any time by pressing the on and off button. You turn it on again by pressing 
the on button. You can also see that the LED behind the button lights up and the button is flashing. The button flashes during the entire operation until brewing is complete. Make sure that you do not open the lid of the drip coffee maker at the end of the brewing cycle. Wait at least three minutes after the brewing cycle has finished before opening the lid. After three minutes, you can remove and clean the filter and refill the water tank in order to start a new brewing cycle. It is entirely normal that steam may come out of the drip coffee maker while the brewing process is in progress. Pressing the second, third or fourth button does not affect the coffee preparation in any way. Please keep in mind that the filter holder and the filter may be hot after the coffee has been dispensed. Please take care before removing them. In addition, the base of the craft may be very hot after coffee has been dispensed. Take care when removing it and make sure you do not place the craft on a heat sensitive surface. The brewing process has now finished. The keep warm function is automatically activated after the coffee has been brewed. It turns on the keep warm plate for 60 minutes. This way the coffee will be hot for 60 minutes after the coffee has been brewed. You can see on the display the keep warm icon that it lights up on the display. The on and off button slowly flashes. In order to turn off the keep warm function, press the on and off button once. The icon goes away and the button doesn't light up anymore. The keep warm plate is now turned off. You can turn on the keep warm function by pressing the on and off button again. Once it has reached temperature, you will see the icon again and the button flashes slowly. If you drink all your coffee before the keep warm function automatically turns off, so before 60 minutes, please make sure to not put the empty carafe back onto the keep warm plate as all the heat will go into the glass. In addition, you can also turn off the keep warm function. by pressing the on and off button once.